Okay, settle down with the breath. Notice where you feel the breath. Try to get in touch with that dimension of your awareness. Because all too often we're paying attention to other things, and this part of our awareness gets blocked out. So you can't really see what's going on in the energy in the body. And as a result, you miss out on an awful lot of signals that you could pick up by being aware here. Sometimes there's a little bit of greed or a little bit of anger or a little bit of fear. and It's so subtle that you may not notice it unless you start noticing how the breath energy in the body is feeling. If something doesn't feel quite right, if you're in touch with the breath energy and you notice something's not quite right, that's your signal that something's up with the mind. And so you can check and see what it is. And at the very least, you can decide not to aggravate the problem by keeping up that unusual breath energy. In other words, you can improve the energy, and that has an improving effect on the mind. Otherwise, the greed, aversion, or delusion might hijack your body. And by the time you realize that they're there, they've already taken over the body and they're presenting you with their ultimatum. You've got to do what I want you to do or else you're going to be miserable. That's what they say, in effect. So you've got to figure out this is how they gather up all of their, their allies. They take your breath away from you. So you've got to take it back. Stay here with the breath. Try to inhabit every part of the body, from the top of the head down to the tips of the toes, the tips of the fingers. This is your space. Try to stay right here. Don't let anybody push you out, and don't you push yourself out. If you're going to be aware of the world outside, be aware of the world in here. In other words, maintaining your awareness of this part of your body, this part of your awareness, at the same time you're aware of other things. I mean, there's so many other places where we can do multitasking that's fragmenting. This is a kind of a multitasking that's not. It actually pulls everything together. Instead of thinking this is one more thing to balance as you're juggling your life, remember, you're standing here. You're taking your stance in your body, and you're going to stay here in your body. And if you're going to know anything else, you'll know it while you're here. And after all, you find that you're perfectly aware of what's going on around outside, but you're also aware of what's going on inside the body. And that gives you lots of advantages. So try to maintain this as your default mode. This is where you stay. When people are speaking, when you're speaking, when you're working, this is where you stay. Don't leave your spot. And John Cha has an example. He says it's like having one chair in your house. And as long as you're sitting in the one chair, everybody else who comes in the house has to stand. But if you leave the chair, anybody else can take over the chair, and then they're the ones that are sitting in the position of authority. So you've got to stay here. Greed comes in, it has to stand. Aversion comes in, it has to stand. And we can't sit down. And when they stand, they don't stay very long. So try to take, make this as your one seat here, the one seat where you're in, in charge. <clears throat> 